Greetings everyone and welcome back to the final station, the only traitor DLC, where in the last episode we picked up our old boss and uh, yeah, we're going to be getting back to that right now. Nice parking. Oh no, <laughs> he's parked the car straight into an oil barrel. Well, that didn't go quite to plan, I must confess. Uh, very well. What do we have over there? There was a market here, I think he said, or once here, a bit of an odd way to put it. Hello? Hello? No. Oh. What have we got? We've got toilet paper and a toilet. Fantastic. This isn't like your fallout. Oh, hello. Um, Pizarre. Toilet attack. This isn't like fallout. You don't find things in the toilet. You just lift the toilets up with your inhuman strength. And then, you know, lob it at someone and kill them. What have we got down there? Ooh. Can we? One. Two. Uh, I didn't quite take you out, unfortunately. One. Need more bullets. There we go. Uh, still used a lot of ammo to take those guys down, but uh, worth it, I think. One, two, three. There we go. Really got to worry about them. They are going to be a constant drain on my bullet supply. Six scraps, okay. What have we got over here? Ooh, we've got death over here, actually. One, two, no. I choose life. And then I choose bullets. Haha! -ha! That's right, gather up. <laughs> you fools! Every one of you is a fool. A dead fool. Uh, water, okay, so we've got one of the criteria for our escape. Oh, hello. Very well. Let's uh, have a bit of a fight then. Two. Three. They are literally twice as durable as the normal ones. Can I jump? No. Uh, some whiskey? 48 pounds worth of whiskey. Well, dollars worth of whiskey. Uh, hello. Oh, I can go up and down the, the ladders with a box in my hands. Very well. You see, boxes... Oh, well, actually, I suppose it does say fragile, so you, one must presume that it's full of something important. But, yes, boxes are just as deadly to zombies... Oh, well, you know, if you use it properly, instead of dropping her on the floor like a numpty, unfortunately, right mouse button just puts it on the ground. Yoink. And kaboom! Oh, wow, that kills him in one hit. What? Really? Uh, must keep my eye open for boxes. Possibly also toilets for killing those things instead of using all my ammo. Some coins. Ooh. <laughs> Warehouse 17. For washing machines. Soap, and workwear, and soap and toilet paper. And coins. And food. Aha! What do you think of the Order of the Advent? What's there to think? They're your run-of-the-mill con artist. Yeah, but my wife says they make some good points. What are you talking about? Well, if the government tricks us and closes all the bunkers, what are we going to do? Hmm. Well, what do those brainiacs of yours suggest? They're building their own shelter. Ooh. Is that going to be somewhere we go? So much whiskey in this place. People were heavy drinkers here. Mind you, given the state of the world, I don't actually blame them. Hello. Hello. Shower. Actually, I went through that door a little bit fast. Oh, dear. Nope. There we go. No, no toilets to, to lob at him this time. Some more whiskey. And a way out some some ooh, is that a note? Oh. Okay, well let's uh, continue up. I can't go through that door very well. Hey you! No! Ah damn that hurt! That's really hurting! No 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 no! Ouch! Stay down! Ugh first the infected and now this I agree. I am not happy with this situation. Look at my health! Uh, okay, well, I've noticed that when we heal in the car, we don't use up med kits. However, I suspect that's based on the healing ability of the person in the car with you. And currently, our boss, not a good healer. Good crafter, not good healer. The med kits, however, if it's anything like the first game, let's use it and possibly get a big health top up. Yeah, there we go. Full health again. All right, well, scary words making me use my med kits. Also, isn't it bad enough? That we're having to deal with shadows? 
You are the reason why humanity is going down the drain. Also, I should have really paid attention to that. Because it kind of gave me a hint that this was something weird. Uh, keep an eye on any kind of symbology in the background because it is important. Well, what have we got going on down here then? Uh, okay. Note. The tunnel will be ready by Tuesday. We can begin the operation at night. John has the explosives and bags. Don't forget the planning. That's your main... Oh, sorry, the painting. That's your main goal. Oh, well, perhaps one of them, John. Is this some sort of uh, robbery? That would explain why they immediately attacked, that they are still scallywags. We've still got enough problems on our hands as it is. Explosives. Also gasoline. I've got everything I can go. Uh, no. No, we're going to explore a little bit more first. Obviously. Uh, ooh, doesn't look like their heist went quite to plan. Lots of money, though. Womp. There we go. Looks like a heist. Yes. $140, some rags, camera. Probably didn't do any good. Uh, anything over there? No. Uh, okay, can we go up? No. Hello. Nope, nope, nope. And triple nope. We can't go out and stare at the, you know, empty, void sky. Notification. By the order of Armand White's administration, the current exhibit is hereby closed insofar as it represents the dissemination of anti-government propaganda. District Attorney, Reynold Krieg. Okay. Ooh, some nice paintings. We can look at them. Theodore, I think that's a Theodore B. Uh, we've got C. Thornton. Isn't Thornton a character from the first game? I think he might have been, actually. And Vermin White. Now, Vermin White is definitely a character from the first game. And I guess we now know why he's called Vermin White. Uh, well, uh, other than the reason that uh, his name, because I assume the name came first, actually. And in, in retrospect, that was a really dumb thing to say. I'm sorry, Vermin. I am the stupids. Ooh. Hello. Hello. Exhibits A1 and A2. Vermin White's letters were presumably addressed to Christopher Thornton, oh sorry, Christoph Thornton, who worked in the oil and gas industry at the time and also co-owned some of the biggest casinos in the country. The letters contain detailed discussions of potential con uh, conditions for collaboration. Okay. Hello. Strong silent type, eh? Uh, if, if you were trying to hide there, I can see you. I think you're right. <laughs> okay, okay, you know what? I'm not even going to cast judgment. Today is a weird day. The world is a weird world. Uh, really bad crafting. Kind of similar medic, but wow, sociality is super high. You're a historian. Oh, is sociality perhaps how much information you get when you're in the car with them? Is that how it goes down? Oh, that would be so... Oh, no. Now I've got to choose between being able to get more gear or being able to get more story. <laughs> Why? Why do you make me choose like this? Because you know what I'm going to choose, you scallywag. Uh, I really hope that is the way it works now and I haven't just wasted that all for nothing. What have we got down here? Uh, death. For you. Haha. -ha. No, this way. This way. That's right. Explosions. <laughs> Go down. For good. There we are. Unfortunately, that is it. All of our ammo is now loaded into the gun. An exhibition by Alex Medium. The Exposure. After decades of research, historian Alex Medium is presenting his reasoning and evidence that he claims will reveal the real face of the council. The exhibition consists of dozens of photographs and paintings, as well as archival document, uh, documents from the times of the first visitation. Ooh. First visitation. That is story-heavy stuff. Or at least it was in the first game. Oh, hello. Off with the helmet. You know what? Can I actually take you out without... Ouch! Wasting my ammo. I don't think I can. Also, I got hurt for that, you scoundrel. Ooh. Pistol ammo, though. I approve. Alright. Broken glass. I should really stop vandalizing this place. But it's not like there's anyone else who lives here at this point. It seems that I'm just... Just some loner who's somehow managed to keep ahead of the... Ahead of the worst of it. But what's happening to all the people that I say, yeah, you have to leave the car? At least, 
At least with the train when we pull into a station, everyone would disembark if we'd managed to get them there without them all bleeding out or dying of starvation. In this one, it feels a little bit more... <sighs> a little bit less nice. I guess my character isn't quite as nice a character as the train conductor. I can go now. Heal me, please. 20 HP. It's good enough. Thanks for helping me out. I love the graphics here. No biggie. I'm guessing you're heading to a shelter, right? Uh, well, I certainly hope so. Uh, we want to go off scraps. Good guess. I think we can make it to one near Bristol. Oh, dear. Mm, I don't know. I'm with him. I'm with him. Don't ask me why. But I am. What? I heard it's for the military only. Yeah, I heard that too, so? They're not gonna leave us out here to die, right? I'm afraid they might have orders to do just that. And I'll force my way in. Nothing to it. Fighting against the soldiers might might not be the best idea. So you have a better idea? The safest place is Metropol. <laughs> Safer than a bunker dozens of miles underground? The construction of those bunkers was overseen by the council. Just like everything that is built in this country. So, that's where you're wrong. I trust certain projects, like, say, the ones by Adam Thornton, or one of his founders. But I wouldn't trust the council itself. Oh, we're getting so much story here. Okay, here we go. I shouldn't have brought you along. Now I'm going to have to listen to conspiracy theories the whole way, eh? If you don't want to listen to the truth, I don't. No, uh, what? No, no! He doesn't get this weak! He d no! Uh, uh, uh. I hate my character. I hate my character so much. Why are you such a jerk? That's literally the only reason I brought him along. Oh, my lord. Ah, oh, that is, that is so annoying. Ooh, they tore the whole something or other apart. Oh, this is one of the train stations. Oh, is this one of the ones that I want, I'd been to? Pistol ammo, oh good. Oh my god, up here. I think it might have been, ooh, white eyes. Some whiskey, pencil, coins, pistol ammo. We've got a lot of pistol ammo now. I'm concerned, I'm very concerned actually. Oh, yes, yes, this was one of the locations we, we came through in the first game. Nope, nope. My lights are flickering. Is this the game? Is it breaking the fourth wall? Do I need to be afraid? I'm just going to keep playing. If, if if suddenly I like can't start speaking in tongues, well, just assume that I've been eaten by a shadow. I'm, I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to keep going for you guys. Don't mourn for me. Ow! Uh... I could probably have thrown that a little bit further. Yes, this is definitely... Wow, the damage to the station. This is one of the first stations we came through. Wow. Okay, what on earth did that, though? Yeah. I'd rather you explode over there, honestly, but all right. Nope. Oh, draft. There was something there I could have picked up all along. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, all right then. Well, whomp. Well, at least we took him out, but that would have been better if we could have hit that onto the uh, exploding one. Uh, oh, right, yeah, the scanner. So many wagons, but no locomotives. Uh, yeah, I kind of have an idea why that is. Food. Anything else? Goes down. Up at House of Metropole. To John Bren, head of Central Station, Keskus. Confirmation of blockers code 4325. I wonder if that's the same code as it was in the original game. I imagine it is actually Train driver's uniform 5, pistol ammo 6. Oh wow, it's giving me some chills. I love the story in the original game so much Again, I'm getting so much nostalgia on this like the hairs on my arms are standing on end. Nope. Nope. Bad. Naughty. Nope. 
both of you, naughty, go to sleep. One, two, three, four. Uh, you're going to be a pain. Up we go. And we're going to stay there. And there we go. Moving on. Nothing in here. Are we going to see the cells soon, or was this uh, the wrong station? Oh, it might not have been, actually. Uh, okay, we may need this then. Uh, I'd really, really prefer to use this on the spitter, honestly. But all right. It's kind of annoying. You're going to be a real pain in the bum, aren't you? How are we going to do that? Please go back to where you came. That's right, keep going. Can I shoot them? One. Two. Nope. That was annoying. That was very annoying, but at least we got through it. Uh, I was trying to reload my gun too many times. Pistol ammo, good. Got a lot of pistol ammo at this point. And some gunpowder so we can craft some more too if we get someone with very high crafting. I'm going to wait until we have someone with high crafting if I can. Hello. That is not so bad, but that is... Nope. Naughty. Ah. Did I lose much health there? Any health, in fact? I don't think I did. I'm glad. That would have been worse if I had uh, gone past it and then it opened up on the other side. Because there would have been very little room for me to escape. Uh, okay, so all we've got so far is food. Um, this is a diner area. Hello. Nope. Yeah, let's try and get them together. That's right. Because the nice thing with this weapon, it does have swings. So we hit a couple of people at once if we are in the right position. Uh, okay, so we've got 22 pistol ammo so far. A chair. Very well. Uh, what are we going to see on the other side? Oh. Well. Hello. Oh my god. A survivor. Uh, hello. What happened here? The city was raised to the ground. Please get me out of here. I'll tell you everything. No, I'm afraid not, actually, Matthew Sanders Cook. As much as it would be cool to find out the information you have available in here. Because this would probably be really good info. And, and the annoying thing is, this would actually pertain to, to something that directly comes from the first game. I'm going to leave you behind. Sorry, I might I might change my mind as we go forward. In fact, I would be open to uh, people's input on that, whether it would be uh, something you'd prefer for me to switch every time I get a chance to, or go with my gut on, on who's going to be the, the best candidate for it. Because right now, I think the historian's probably one of the better ones for a little while, at least until uh, Black go in there. I don't trust it. But at least until we get to a point where... Um, we no longer... He's no longer given us any good information. Ooh, hello. Poor guy. Gunpowder scraps, okay. So he climbed in here and then couldn't get anywhere else. The thing I'm most interested in is if we're going to meet any of the characters that we actually managed to save on the train. Okay, box armed and... Well, I mean, I could... You know what? Can I go? I can. I can with a boss. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> right. You go down there. Let's save you. No. Nope. Ouch. That really hurt. Right. Come on then. Let's go and clobber him with you. Let's get in there and whoop. Oh. Oh, thank goodness. I mean, we saved ammo, but we took more health damage. Martis, these batteries are not powerful enough to dampen so much as a walkie-talkie. How are you planning to work with orbital signals? You need to consult with a doctor, not me. Believe me, retired architects aren't exactly the most important people in the world. What could you possibly know that's so important anyway? Ooh. Hmm. Okay. White eyes. It's a shame that the city suffered so much. Mm, they were resisting. We had to take action. 
I think it's not a big deal. We didn't plan to use the train station and railway. Hey, hello. Can you hear me? Hey. Yeah, I don't I don't think they even recognize us as people anymore. We're kind of beneath them. One, two, three, there we go. Martis, after studying your dampening device, I'm thrilled that you chose to become an architect because your knowledge of electrical engineering is deplorable. You cannot connect two outputs to one another. That's electrical engineering 101. I have fixed everything and will try to activate it today. Okay. Some water, good. Oh, I'm so tempted to bring that guy along now, the cook, now that their white eyes in here. If he can tell us something about them, it would be worth... Oh, my lord. First wall. Zone zero. Guardian. Conduit. Metropole. Looks like a plan of Metropole. Interesting. Mm, did they have something to do with what happened to the Guardian in the end? No, I don't know why the goddamn council stopped building the wall. I'm just a simple architect, and my job was done a long time ago. Leave me alone. No, okay. Please, terminate my client agreement with mailing service, Cascus Mail, Martis. Well, this Martis file is quite important. A toilet. Also, old box and pistol ammo. You're coming with me, toilet. Hello? Oh. I don't appear to need the toilet. Very well. I don't understand why you're writing to me again. If people are building homes in Sector Zero, they need to be evicted. That's the council's job, not mine. All of Sector Zero will be destroyed by the shockwave from the Guardian's launch. I notified you of this back when Metropole was still being designed. Now it's your problem. Uh, yeah, I was wondering about that. Oh, all those homes. For those of you who watched the first series, uh, yeah, you'll have an idea of how, how many homes were there. Bad times. Very bad times. I'm so tempted. I'm so tempted to get rid of the historian. Oh, but... But it's interesting that the white eyes are already here. And... So this, this was... The train had already left the station at this point, so we're we're behind the train right now in terms of the, the plot line. <sighs> Alright. Come along then. I I am really deeply upset that we're losing the historian, but this is too too interesting for me to abandon. Everything is ready. I can go now. So, what was it? Was it the Guardian? The Guardian? Then what happened there? It was them. I keep hearing it. Them, them, them. Can you just say who or what it was? You know what I'm talking about. We've always spoken of them in this way. They will come and wipe us out. They will come back. They will raise our cities to the ground. So it was them. Are they really 30 feet tall? Way taller. Any of them would break the Guardian in half. Oh. Really? Sorry. I'm afraid this is the end. Nothing matters anymore. We cannot escape this. Don't give up, mate. There will be a stop soon. Get some sleep. Rather dramatic, don't you think? My lord. Um, we're just shy of the pills required. Can we make any more ammo? Well, we can, actually. For quite cheap, we can make two sets of ammo there. Uh, sorry, three sets of ammo. Four sets of ammo. Wow, really? But with that, I am afraid we have come again to the end of another episode. I do hope you're still enjoying as much as I am and look forward to your company in the next. But as ever, remember to like if you liked, sub if you haven't, and I'll see you next time.
Take care, everyone.